I received a, a packet of um, cards. I was really moved when I received that. I got this little package in the mail and I didn't have any idea what it was. And, and I opened it up and I, I, I went through each one and, you know, people wrote, you know, please work fast. My, my grandmother is, is going downhill. And other people who said, oh, this work is so important. My husband died of Alzheimer's a few years ago. And, and it, it means so much to me that people are working on it. And just making that personal connection really made me think. I mean, when I go into the lab and I am, am doing work or, or even just ordering something, those notes come back to me. I mean, there, I know that there's a real person who, who made the decision to write a check to this foundation and, and that's how this work can go on in, in my lab. I'd like to thank the people who have helped fund the research that has allowed uh, us to make the progress that we have against Alzheimer's disease. And it's really the, it takes money to do quality research. A lot of people don't appreciate that, but the infrastructure in the lab paying my lab, paying my lab personnel, the, the reagents that I am purchasing, they all cost money. And so we sincerely appreciate every dime, every dollar that we have been uh, given. One effect or um, byproduct of this scarcity of federal dollars in the current climate for biomedical research is that it's very important, more important than ever, than ever for other sources of funding to be found and and so I would say to donors if I had the opportunity please continue to give uh, to foundations that target funding for biomedical research your uh, dollars now are worth more than they've ever been. Either a young investigator starting out or an established investigator who's got a new idea that's out of the realm of what they're normally doing uh, is that these uh, grants, which aren't huge, but they can be used very effectively. And I've had many colleagues tell me over the years that these uh, seed grants on a dollar per dollar basis are probably more productive than any other type of grant funding that we're able to get so important that the donors be thanked and just feel part of the progress that's being made because they really are funding progress in Alzheimer's disease.